January 1st, 2023, the following things will go into effect, and people need to be aware of this. It abolishes cash bail for almost every offense. This includes, but isn't limited to, kidnapping, armed robbery, second degree murder, drug-induced homicide, aggravated DUI, threatening a public official, and aggravated fleeing and eluding. Threatening a public official. <laughs> <laughs> Why would he say that as a public official? And keep this in mind, businesses and homeowners, officers will no longer be able to remove trespassers from your resident, residence or your businesses. Someone That's been a thing in other states. In your shed, and all we can do is give them a ticket. That's been a thing in other states. In all seriousness, this is the purge law. Black people have been fighting to get rid of cash bail for years now. Forever. For years now because of the, how unfair the yeah. criminal justice system is. Facts, 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 facts. It just sounds like when you first hear the new rule, like, what? Throwing a public official? Really? But black people have been fighting you right to get rid of cash bail because it's unfairly targets black people. Unfairly targets black people. Unfairly makes the amount higher for black people. I think statistically. Mm -hmm. You see, the thing about America is that even though laws which on paper make complete sense and honestly like every nation should do it targets black people so i can't even really like fight for it it's like i could but it's like it's gonna affect me the most or my or your or people justify yeah. yeah or someone i know so it's like i can't even really cape for it uh i i'm a i'm a component of of the american judicial system is probably the most corrupt thing in america right now uh so anything to destroy that i'm kind of for the Elimination of all cash bail? <laughs> like why we couldn't do like the non the nonviolent ones? Why we couldn't like anybody convicted of like violent crimes? Secondary murder is wild. <laughs> I'm I hate public officials, but threatening a public official is wild. Kidnapping is wild. These kidnapping? <laughs> Release without bail? For kidnappers? Yeah. <laughs> it went from one side and flipped right to the other side. Like, get rid of cash bail for drug thieves. Off, drug offenses. Drug, drug offenses. offenses. Thieves, drug offenses. We could have stopped there. I'd have been like, damn, let's, <laughs> let's clap it up for Illinois. No one told y'all murderers didn't need to be kidnapping is bail. Kidnapping is crazy. <laughs> kidnapping? Kidnapping? <laughs> like, we wanted to get rid of cash bail because y'all were putting people that were selling weed behind bars and making them pay $50,000 bails. Was it for that? Didn't like that. That wasn't cool. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Y'all, y'all. Violent crimes? <laughs> why, why America gotta go all the way? Why we can't meet in the middle? There's a middle for this. <laughs> really, sense of America in general, though. Either you're all the way on one side or on the other side, and like, I don't know, like compromises don't get made or like there's no in-between state. Like, nigga, reform the system, but don't destroy the system. Mm -hmm. Fuck. <laughs> you could argue that this needs to be completely destroyed before something better can come out of it, though. And and I, w I want better clarification on release without bail means. Does that actually mean these niggas just get released? Like, they get detained, released? I think if someone comes to get, comes to get them, yeah, they can. That's fucking crazy. Because when you bail someone out, right, you put, like, cash in the thing, and, like, you get them. I think at that point, someone just comes to get you, they pick you up, and you're out. Nigga, kidnapping? <laughs> I could kidnap someone, be like, yo, Q, come and get me. It would just bail me out for free. But we going to Alaska. <laughs> hey, yeah. Hey, like this nigga said, we'll be in Alaska. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, man. But, yeah, the middle honestly, I'm starting to see, maybe, yeah. I mean, the system is so corrupt and, like, so rotten. That maybe we needed just a complete other side before we can just start itching towards the middle. Ah, and this is this is a step towards that direction. I like I said, like niggas have been demonizing this bill. Like it went super viral, but y'all are not realizing that like cash bail is one of the most unjust systems in America and directly affects black people. What they're doing is not a bad thing. Violent criminals. <laughs> like I said, bro, every law that on paper should make sense unfairly targets people of my skin color and phenotype so i can't really care for it because i could be a victim or you know someone close to me could be a victim it, it, so <sighs> america america <laughs> america even when it should make sense it doesn't make sense and that's how we go in that mm. even when it should it make sense. sense so if you want the full version of the podcast that you just listened to or watched 
Go to Patreon slash Suburban Boys Podcast. If the link is in the description below to watch this full unedited version of this podcast. We go.